from the San Joaquin Valley in Southern California, welcome to the Fresno Open $70,000 Bowling Classic live today here on a special edition of the CBS Sports Spectacular. Mark Roth fired a 300 in the position round game, moving from seventh to fifth and earning a point against John Guppy Troop. And when that was over in that first elimination game, Troop defeated Roth in the final frame. This is NASCAR. This is the first ever running of the Pennzoil 400 presented by Kmart and brought to you live today by NBC Sports. Good afternoon to you. I'm Brian Williams, NBC News, though on loan today, the good folks at NBC asked if I would bother hosting, in fact, hosting, in effect, my own hobby, a love of this sport and trying to convey some of the excitement that NASCAR brings to the folks here and the folks joining us across the country and around the world today. Joining me for the call of today's race, six times a Winston Cup winning car owner in 1999, Coach Joe Gibbs, Joe Bobby Labonte. He's your driver chasing Dale Jarrett for the championship. Dale drove for you earlier in his career. Your emotions on this are what? Dale Jarrett shared with me the very first time, he said, Joe, I got in a race car, I made the first lap, I knew that's what I wanted to do with the rest of my life, was race a race car. The one thing that has remained the same is pretty much the challenge, the particular challenge to drive this course, because uh, uh, being a tri-oval, uh, with one, really one long straightaway, and having an elevation of some 30 feet, you know, it, uh, it requires not only that particular concentration factor, because you're turning most of the time, but it's also considerably um, uh, tougher physically for the driver. So, uh, as I said, this is uh, it's quite a place here. Almost like an old Langhorn. You're turning all the time, about 70% of the time. Now, as to the complexity of this season, let's turn to our colleague, David Hobbs. Ken, it's been an absolutely wonderfully complex and competitive season so far this year. Four races, four different winners. And of the 12 drivers who are still on the podium, only two, Pruitt and Rahal, have repeated. Thank you, Kristen. And Anders, I have to admit to you, this is the first racing series I've ever called where the doors actually function. I guess this brings a new terminology for you for the word spec racing or stock car <laughs> racing, right? Absolutely. And we have already seen some incredible racing, and, and it was in the heats. We wouldn't have expected this crazy of racing to start off with, but how about the ride Austin Dine had up through the jump? Lands crooked off the jump, slams into the side of Reese Millen, and I guess you could call this Daytona motivation. All these guys want to win here. And again, look at this. Brian Deegan, nowhere to go right into the tire barrier. Sonny Bill Williams, not many people caught him today on the pitch, but our Marty Snyder did, and they're both down on the pitch. The man of the match, Sonny Bill Williams, and uh, for a guy who's just come back, that's not a bad match, was it? Yeah, um, yeah first of all, it's just awesome to be back in this environment, such a professional environment, and um, you know, obviously, this, you know, on the scoreboard, we, we dominated today, but it just comes down to our forwards. Uh, they laid the platform, and... Uh, us pretty boys out wide got to, you know, got the benefits of it. <laughs> you pretty boys played pretty good, pretty good match today. Now, Jeff, there have been three stock car drivers who have not had any IROC practice here this weekend for this event. Is that a detriment to these guys? Well, I think the first few laps, it certainly will be detrimental to them. It takes a little while to get used to these race cars. These drive totally different than a Winston Cup car. However, they do have a lot of experience on this track, and they have a lot of time on the track this weekend. So I think that'll play into their advantage. It'll let them learn the car quicker than they would otherwise. Take it short. Lateral. They practiced that on Wednesday. Time's going to expire on the game, so this either goes or it doesn't. Ball's still alive. It's got to be a backwards lateral. Get behind it. Still alive. Duke doing a nice job staying. Staying spacing all over. Oh, he got, they got a block. blockers. They got blockers. They've got a lane. 40 yard line. No black shirts between the goal line. Can you believe what you just saw? 